everyone. So, um, this is just my July favorite. And July has been a really busy month because I've been traveling and I think I was only in Brisbane for like 10 days. So, all the stuff that I have are really quick fixes that I needed while I was on the go. And let's just get started. The first thing is Rubinescence Paint Pot. And this is just a really like goldish color. It's a really pretty like usually when I'm just a bit lazy to, to wear eyeshadow I just wear this and I draw like eyeliner and it looks really pretty and I think it really complements every skin tone so I really like that. The second thing that I'm really loving which I've had for a really long time but I just sort of like fell in love with again is my MAC Select SPF 15 and this bottle has been with me for about a year and it's finishing I think I'll finish it in like another two or three uses I have it on now I really really like it um, it's a really really sheer finish and because my skin isn't really bad so I just want something which will help to even out my skin tone and give it like a nice smooth canvas mine is an NC45 and I'm really digging this foundation it has SPF um, I might repurchase it when I'm done with the whole bottle, which is in like 2-3 to three days time. But I'm not really sure yet because I'm not really big on foundations. So, but if I have to repurchase the foundation, it'll probably be this foundation. So that's exciting. The next thing that I'm really loving is, it's actually a sample. And I got this um, Chanel Mascara in um, Intimidate. Intimidatable Intense and this mascara, this is like a baby one because it's like a sample can you see it? it's really small this mascara says it helps like make your lashes fuller, longer and it, it's like the all-in-one mascara and I really like it for getting my lashes fuller the brush looks like that quite a small brush honestly for a volumizing mascara but it does a really really good job in separation also and I have it on now I don't know if you can see it but my lashes are really really full with this mascara so I'm really liking this and I might buy it like once I'm done with the sample which is exciting okay the next item I have is my Inkblot blush and I know that I just bought this blush like about a week ago this is a number 82 but I'm going back again today to Inkblot before um, before dinner today to get another few blushes because I'm so obsessed with the, form the formulation it's just so creamy and this is the colour it's just so creamy I'm just like addicted sorry I'm just like addicted to the formulation so I'm possibly going back to get more Inglot blushes later on because it's like a really it's a more that's really far from my place and so I need to drive about an hour-ish, almost two hours, so I'm gonna go down later because I've got a bit of time. The next thing that I'm loving is um, my Benefit Brow Kit, and I honestly think Benefit stuff get really get really little love. Like Matte is like so hyped up, and because they have so many collections coming in and stuff, but Benefit is one brand which I really really like. And this is browsing, and look at the pretty box. Mine's in medium. So I've got really dark like black hair but the one which is the colour up which is called dark I think it's more of like a greyish black which I didn't really like because it made my brows look a bit ashy so I got this and I'm wearing it now and I just fill it in a bit so it comes with like the wax sorry it comes with like the wax which is the darker one and the powder and it comes with like a tweezers, a blending brush and a hard angle brush so you apply the wax first and then you um, once it's like nice and done you apply the powder to help it set and it's really good. I usually top it with like my Maybelline's um, Definer Brow just to help it stay a bit longer but it's good to go on its own also. But since I've got Definer Brow I might as well just use that clear gel to help my brow set a bit. So this is something I'm really loving and I might do a tutorial. But yeah, if you want to see a tutorial on um, Benefit Browsing, just leave me a comment and tell me. My all-time favorite glowy skin is Benefit Moonbeam. And I, I wore it today with my foundation and 
I think it looks amazing. It helps your skin really glow and gives you that really fresh look. And on days that I'm just too lazy to wear any foundation, I just wear this on my skin and wear like a powder above and it looks really amazing. You can use this as like a highlighter on your cheekbones and I don't know, I just really like it. I really like, prefer this more than high beam. I've got both but this is definitely like the one that I go to more often. So I'll just show it to you guys. This is how it looks like when you and when you blend it in. It's amazingly glowy. It's so pretty. It has that, that like pinkish, yellowish, goldish, shimmery sheer look. It's really really pretty. So that's that. Um this two comes together. I'm digging this lip look. This is what I have now. It's a really neutral colour which I think it suits anyone. It's so corally and pretty. It's the Kors Lip Butter. Oops, is it upside down? It is. It's the Kors Lip Butter in Mango. This is the colour. It smells like mango. It smells so good. <sighs> Can't get enough. And it's really, really sheer but it's really conditioning and hydrates your lips. So that's the mango. And I usually top it up with my Inglot um, number 28 um, lip gloss. And it looks gorgeous. It looks like this. So really digging that look. So it has, like the colours really similar. So that's why I think they go really, really well together. So this is just the Inglot on its own. And this is the Inglot with um, the coarse lip butter. And it makes, it hydrates your lips so well. And it helps your lips stay shiny and I'm really loving it so no lipstick just lip, lip butter which is like a conditioning and then lip gloss to make it look glossy and the only thing is that you gotta reapply it because it's a lip gloss so it'll wear off really fast okay the last or this the last beauty item is my Vera Wang princess and I don't know I really like this smell it smells like vanilla and I'm obsessed with vanilla and look at the crown it's like so pretty and I don't know, I've just been using this so much. It's been like my go-to perfume for like I don't know how long. I'm just really digging it and I don't know, you guys should all go smell it if you haven't smelled it. If you like vanilla, this is definitely something for you. It's not too florally, it's not too fruity, it's just a really warm scent. So I'm really liking that. Okay, last thing. Just had my graduation, if you guys remember. and um. These are well, like my flowers. <laughs> Look at how pretty they are. And I know there's like massive amounts. Okay, I'm gonna take out like one stock. Um, Look at how pretty the rose is. So it came with rose and um, tulips. Uh, not tulips, uh, yet. Lilies. And look at how pretty they are. They're just gorgeous. So I'm so glad they've all bloomed. Yeah, okay. That's for my favorite. And just a quick update. Um, I'll be leaving Australia in a few days, so I won't be filming this, won't be my background anymore. I'm going to go back to um, my own room and I'll be definitely doing more videos and tutorials and stuff. Um, yeah, I might be away for a few days because I once I get back, I need to pack up. Not pack up, unpack. I've been packing and it's been crazy. I'll need to unpack and find a good spot in my room to film and set it up. So I'm going back um, on Sunday, which is two days time. It's Friday here in Australia today. So I'm going back on Sunday and I hope to get everything. Oh no, I'm reaching Singapore on Monday. So I hope to get everything done, like setting up my room for filming by like Wednesday if possible. And I'll just film something short. I don't know what. If you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, leave a comment below and just tell me. And then I'll have like proper space and to put all my makeup so I'll, I can do like my favourite blushes tag because I really want to do that. And one of my friends on YouTube tagged me so that's on my list, my favourite blushes. And probably um, my favourite lipsticks. And maybe, I don't know, a neutral matte eyeshadow video. I don't know, just leave a comment below if you've got like something you want to see or tweet me. I'm going to leave my personal Twitter down below. It's on private setting but just um, just request and I'll just accept it. 
So you can follow me there and know what's happening. Like I update my Twitter so often because I'm always on my iPhone. But yeah, that's that's gonna be a good way to stay in contact and just tweet me because that's like the best way to get me. So yeah, that's all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just leave a comment below or leave a video response. I love watching like favorite video. So leave a video response on like your favorite July items and yeah, yeah. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye.